What is up, everybody? We're at Atomic Sand today. I mean, waiting on Aaron. He's on the way with the filters. We're going to do an oil change on this old mud cat. And then uh, hopefully it's going to be a really fun day. We're going to try to move that big girl into the water and maybe even get to fire that pump up and, uh, and move some mud. So uh, y'all watch along and uh, hopefully we don't drop this thing. We don't have the trailer to put it on. So we're going to have to just kind of uh rig it and haul it with two pieces of equipment or something like that i don't know i'm gonna ride around and look for something that might assist us in moving it but it's gonna be a pretty fun day y'all stick around check it out hopefully we don't drop her hey you can't be doing that on film oh don't record this <clears throat> Don't look. Got my new selfie stick. I got too much crap in my hands. Can't use it. It's the new GoPro one. It folds out. Now my phone's ringing, but I don't want to talk to that guy, so I'm not going to answer it. But anyway, uh, Aaron's getting all the filters out of the truck. <clears throat> We're going to change the oil on this bad girl right here. And then I want to get it in the water today because I'm impatient and I want to see it run and I want to see it suck some mud. Right, guy? Yes, sir. This thing's a tripod, too. I saw that. Yeah, that's my nickname. <laughs> it's getting deep now. gonna be one of them days. Ha <laughs> <laughs> broke. Handles broke? Oh shit. You have to have it out. Grab ice grips or something. I'm gonna cut my hand all up doing that. Will the mango part work? No. This might work. Just, so it's like sharp oh, on one side. Oh it's like the handle's yeah, broken. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah that will cut you. Better? Yeah. Aaron, we should patent this idea. We've got our oil pan, our catch pan tied to this rope. Because there's absolutely no space in here to catch the oil. Uh, I have to hop up in there and see. Um, say it was uh not yet it's cool in theory yeah and it's uphill slightly right give it a little yeah the whole thing's facing the wrong way fire this beast back up fire it up Man, I have enough fluid. That's your auger. Man, I have enough fluid. 
You weren't even touching on the stick. Which one did you do to do the auger? This is the auger here. That's the auger speed? Yeah, that's the cable we play, so that would be like kind of pull it forward and then reverse and then stop somewhere around there. That's the winch. So okay. right here on the middle. We don't want to mess with that one. Right, and just the gears. I don't know why it won't come up there. You just don't have enough fluid, I bet you. Maybe. Let's add some fluid to it then. leaking out so it's definitely uh we've definitely busted something something else i just don't know what yet i'm gonna crank it up and hit some is that right there uh, that's what it looked like it uh, i mean maybe yeah it looks ugly it's definitely one of them underneath there Whatever it is, you see where it must have been spraying right here. Uh -huh. You fire back up, you won't, and I'll watch it. Yeah, let's try. caterpillar you got if you give it throttle and then take it all the way at once it's this one here of course it'd be all the way oh yeah the freaking bottom sweet where's it go to up there and up to here You, know, you got your hand on the one that goes through the floor? Yeah. Which one? It's going to be... Well, it's kind of hard for me to... Can you see my hand at all? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's that one. We have to lift the cab up, though. Yeah. Alright. Probably get us more room to work under there anyways. Yeah, it will. Oh, that sucks. Good stuff. Always oh, something. <laughs> we may, may want to consider go ahead and replacing a lot of those. Right. I mean, while we're doing it. Because if not, we're just going to be doing this crap again. Yeah. Out on the water. Even worse conditions. Or 30 degrees. True. I don't remember. No, that's not up. Yeah. 
there she goes. That's up. That was a nifty uh, damn invention. Definitely. Put that door up. It should stay up against the cab now if we fold it up. Making sure it wasn't gonna slam shut and break. Break no glass. Now that'll make it much easier. <clears throat> Need us a new floor, don't we? Getting there. Well, it's actually just <laughs> not a floor laid over that floor. They hang on here? No. That's, that's a uh, pressure gauge in there, that's right. Probably as far as we need to go then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Wait! Well, the old mud cat is kicking our ass once again. And she don't want to go to work today. Uh, she blew another hydraulic hose. So Aaron's going to go get that uh, new hose made up. I'm going to grease her. And then possibly when he gets back, if we don't blow anything else, Get this oil changed, and yeah, maybe we can attempt to move her. But um, it's a bigger dredge than what I had thought. So the one I was looking at, weight-wise, was a 27 foot, and after measuring this one, she's 32. So we've got probably another 10,000 pounds we got to deal with, and I'm not sure how that's going to go. It's one o'clock, so I don't know. I'm kind of getting bummed out. May not be able to move it today, but. This old girl, she sat here for a little while and these hoses are dry rotted and I'm sure we're going to blow some more, you know, eventually. But hopefully we'll get this completed and if not today, then maybe tomorrow we can uh, get, this, get this girl floating. So anyway, hang out with us. Barry, hang in there. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Damn it. So anyway, while Aaron's going to get that hose made, I'm going to... Uh, Get this thing all greased up and have it ready to go when we do get all the hoses fixed. But I thought I'd take a minute just to kind of tell you guys about myself a little. Um, and this whole YouTube thing, why I'm doing it. So, uh, you know, I started this YouTube channel. I owe all the credit to my friends at Hyundai. Because they came down and bought a couple of pieces of equipment from them. We did a little testimonial which turned out real good. And it's like, you know what? You should do a, a YouTube channel. You got these cool mine sites, the landfill, compost, garden center, and all the other crap we've got going on. And um, they said, you know, I took them down to the house first and uh, they heard that I built a bunker. And so I showed it to them. It's like, you got to do a video on this. So uh, I, I did. And uh, it, it went, I don't want to say viral, but it's got like 175,000 views now, and it's kind of neat, all the people that, um, you know, see what you do in a, uh, on a daily basis, and things that we've built, and uh, it's just kind of fun. I don't know where it'll go. We don't have a ton of subscribers, um, like six to 700, something like that. But, um, it's just kind of fun, and the other thing too is like, you know, it's free storage of my life, and if my kids, you know, something happens to me like I'm in a pretty dangerous uh, <laughs> spot right now come to think of it under this stupid hood uh, but it's kind of a dangerous line of work but you know who knows something could happen to me and uh, I would I think it's neat that they could come back and watch you know watch what dad did I think it'd be cool my, my dad's still alive thankfully but it would be neat to be able to go back and see some of the things he did in his life so it's just kind of a kind of a fun thing and I don't know, the guys seem to like it. And, uh, we'll see where it, where it ends up. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll do a lot more cool things here in the future. This is a really neat project. And you know, I bounce around from site to site, from the landfill to full circle, sand mine, atomic sand mine, the garden center mostly, cause it's new. And uh, of course I love the plants. We started a YouTube channel there too. so. 
that's my other issue I start too many businesses and I start too many YouTube channels because we've got four they can't focus on one but the mr. dig channel was first and I feel like I should um, give it a little bit more attention and and post more content there because you know that's kind of the main uh, theme of all the businesses is the mining one one form or another so we'll try to do a little better job of recording and um, just showing you guys what we do every day but again we do appreciate you watching and um, I better get back to work before Aaron gets here day one with the GoPro we almost kill it while ago the uh, cabin fell back down and all smashed our new camera. There's a tack wheel this back for us real quick like with his professional welding skills. Mm, we're gonna try. You can do it man. It's not much left of it. You can do it. That a hole, buddy. Hey, a hole till it won't no more. No, that's true. The Guaranteed hold, to work until it fails. Until it falls off. <laughs> Guaranteed. That ought to do it. Got one of them two-day warranties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll take it. It'll work two-day. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Can't see it from your house. That's right. That's Aaron's famous saying. Can't see it from his house. Got our new hose on. Cab back down. Put that cover on the uh, auger head up there. Put some new oil in it. And see what's next. shit been sitting in there for a while cut ahead lifts up high though 
plenty high enough to get around to the water. There she goes. <laughs> now put your seatbelt on. Jerry, let it down a little bit lower so we don't hit that cutter head, please. That good? All right. Down some more. There you go. Let's try to keep that front end on the ground. There she go. That weren't bad. The drag is actually pretty good there. Yeah. I don't think you have any trouble dragging it out. Not as wide as those pads are. Yeah. Does he know we're going to get diesel? I think we do need that short black hose that we just smash the end of. Might be slight, slightly out of round. Uh, we didn't do it too bad. Nah. I think this part's good. Mostly around. Where does that go? I believe this will hook to the uh, to the pump, and then you hook your hard pipe to that. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Yeah, you're probably right. That's just that one little piece of flex. Well, I'm surprised there wasn't no snakes. Yeah. What do you think, Eric? Most of the pressure's on that piece of channel. If they'd have made yeah. it a little bit taller, you can... I still think it's okay to drag. Yeah, because this guy's what's got most of your pressure on. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. It is hot enough. Yeah, she's dragging pretty good. Like Eric said, most of the weight's on that channel right there, so I don't think we'll do any damage to the pontoons. We ain't got too, too far to go. I wouldn't drag it a country mile or anything, but I think we'll be okay. I just hope we didn't booger up that damn hose. She came off them, them trees and posts and sat down on that hose a little bit, so hopefully we didn't screw it up. He okay on them lines, Sammy? Yes, sir, he is, boss. Because track hose and power lines don't go good together at all. All right, we all fueled up. Now we're going to the water. We got about, I don't know, 500 yards to 
inside the puller. <clears throat> but the old Hyundai pulling it right along. That's a lot of weight to be pulling right there. I'm surprised. Many hours on that old 290 and the size of the machine it is, pulling it as easily as it is. That's about, I'm estimating, probably 40,000 pounds. It's heavy. I'm going to walk back and get in the truck uh, versus walking all the way with Terry. I think he's got it from here. Plus, I'm just lazy and I don't want to walk all the way over there. Did we booger it up? Maybe bend it a little bit up. Oh, there you go on there. You gotta talk sweet to it. Am I there? I think so. Yeah, I'd like to be up on it. I believe everything's good up here. Got us a little uh, boat ramp. Prepped. This is cool. I've been waiting a long time to get this damn thing in the water. A few more feet. Be more feet there and we'll be in it. So plant reason we're putting it in over here, guys, um, all that muck out there, you see the grass growing in, I saw tailings. And this whole bank over here, we got to reclaim to a three to one slope. So we are going to use what dirt we got over there to slope it down. Then we'll go out here and we can pump all this, you know, worthless gunk back up, let it dry. And that'll be uh, extra fuel for us to help us get that three to one slope over there for reclamation. And hopefully this is the machine for the job. That's what it's made to do is pump silts and clays and muck.
little bit further, we just can't quite make it. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, what were we supposed to bust a bottle of champagne over or something? <laughs> <laughs> boy, right. There she goes. She in the hang on. What you got? I need to pull it back a little bit. I gotta put this damn plug in the piece in here. Yeah. Yeah. I got a. Uh, I got a plug. We got a plug. We gotta pull it back and put a plug in. I forgot about that plug. That's probably a pretty important. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's uh all the way down there. Yeah. Well, at least you remembered it here and not in oh, another six six feet. I don't think it would have sank, but it got everything wet right there. That's the one you took out this morning? I never took it out. It's been no. out. It's in the cab. It, it was out. That's where we ran that drain hose? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Note to self, put plug in before pushing in the water next time. All right, well, it was almost there. We just gotta come back out a little bit, put the plug in, and then we'll be there. Hey, bit my guardrail. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll help keep everything dry. <laughs> oh, well. You don't need to go down right off the rip. No. No, we don't want to be uh, on a rescue mission. Got to clean our old windshield, though, don't we? Yes, sir. Damn. Yeah. Is it dirty or is it? Yeah, it's just dirty. Well, I don't know. That's that plexiglass. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, things like you need when you like uh, wind, uh, headlight. headlight cover. Yes, sir. That's Thank exactly you. right. We have any rope to tie to this thing? I mean, just in case we go skating on across the pond, Terry, Terry might get a little happy and shove it on out. Leave it. He might let us leave that cable hooked up right now. Well. Not if he's gonna push it, he's gonna booger up your cable. Is there a roll on the 250? Is there any rope one in the bottom? Let me go check. Right. I know I got some yellow rope. String, there. fishing pole, <laughs> anything. If there ain't none on the 250, I'll run down there and grab some. Are you going to do it the right way? That's what we do, man. See that? Safeties. Safeties. Safety first. Safety first. We should put that on our shirts. Something. I'll tattoo it to my middle finger. <laughs> We love our safety inspectors. I'm gonna go make sure Terry don't get happy and push it while you're down there. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, did you hit your head on that bar above you, knock yourself out. And then really get run over. And then up. really get run over. Yeah, that'll be gator food then. Mm-hmm. Can I have all your stuff? All right. Maybe that was Got the it only, in there? Maybe that was the only one, yeah. We'll tie that rope to it first. Yeah, so yeah. Probably be easier to do it now than it would be later. <laughs> we can throw you the rope. Right yeah. yeah. Still a little too chilly going for swim. Mm-hmm. It feels good today though. 
Perfect. 75. Texting and driving. Alright, here we go. We're going in the water this time. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going in the water. Here we go. better if it would go ahead and start to float there, to there she goes <laughs> thank goodness that was a little sketchy how's that i was, uh, I, was I, started... I look over i see you coming well i had up. to man water was chasing me we're floating now halfway i i'll, I'll feel better. i'll feel better when both them pontoons is up because that water's cold as hell Yeah, <laughs> we in. I like this pontoon. We're gonna put us a grill out here. Yeah. A water slide. Need it. Uh. Right yeah. Here. This Girl, thing's gonna. This, this is the party barge, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Finally got her in. I don't see any major leaks. She ain't leaning. Take this thing to the lake, man. <laughs> Party bar. I'm just gonna hope these air bubbles are coming up from the ground. <laughs> That's right. I just pushed all this this morning, so yeah. Yeah, I see them coming up over there too. <laughs> they scared me for a minute there. <laughs> yeah. Pump is below the water level, so that fresh water pump should start up. Is she clear? Yeah. I guess we're gonna put our screen on there. So yeah. We're up against the bank. Yeah, cause you got some trash and shit back here. Yeah, she did. Got a piss on the bow since she ain't got no champagne. Well, that's what I was thinking, man. The demon, the demon, demon of the atomic. Yeah. The atomic demon. Maybe we, I wonder if a beer would work, you know. Yeah, we, right. It's do the same thing. Better do something with that bitch and go outside and leave your bike set. Sammy, give me a beer, give me a beer out of the cooler. Either a beer or a life jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The atomic demon or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, I was scared there for a little bit, Terry. I know, I see it. I water, that water started coming on up the damn. Nah, they'll get out there till it starts. You ought to been over there today. I took the dozer and pushed that old big ass bitch and sunk out there when it went down there, but then it <laughs> went down. It was just thinking about going the rest of the way under when it popped up. Mm. But I didn't start to go with that dozer. It was either going to do or die that day. Yeah. So it did pop back up. They will get on under there for a little bit. <laughs> What we gonna name that we gotta give the old girl a name too. You gotta give her something, that's what I'm saying. I can't uh, christen it. Mm. Alright. Well let's see. Um uh, probably just a little red riding hood. A little red riding hood. <laughs> a little red riding hood. <laughs> I like need? I like it. There you go. All right. <laughs> they need a little red riding hood. Yes, yeah, sir. That'll work. <laughs> wow. There you go. That's how you do it. All right. That's a good sign, I guess. We'll fire this bitch up.
at you. This mouse under, so you good. And my flyers. You got it. Think of the cutter head on the end. Go down and get some mud, see what happens.
That's a pretty good clip there, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on the guard. Do whatever you want to do, buddy. You can certainly tell when it hits the bottom. It'll change the color of that water.
I'm happy. I'm satisfied with it. We made it into water, folks. Long day, tired, dirty, but happy. Uh, so, two years, bought this thing two years ago. Didn't know if it really worked until today, so. Seems to be doing just fine, so we is in business. And we're gonna keep her out here and put this old girl to work, make her earn her keep. <laughs>